Speaking of robotics, let's talk a little about what we can do in robotics. We cannot yet send them through time, um, but we can maybe do more than you, you may think. So what is robotics? Well, to actually build robotics, there's a lot of, say, mechanical engineering, the mechatronics, building the gears and, and sorting out the forces and soldering things. Right? That's all very important, but it's not really what we do in this class. In this class, we look at the part of robotics, which is AI. And that's the control of the robots, figuring out once you've got this robotic platform, what control signals do you send down the wire to do whatever you're trying to do, pick up the cup or sweep the floor or whatever it is. It turns out that simulating robots is much easier than actually deploying robots. We alluded to this earlier, where once you're in the real world, suddenly it's not just planning for how you move that arm, but it's acknowledging that maybe your sensors are a little bit wrong or maybe the arm will slip during motion and everything is much, much harder in reality than in simulations. Also, when you mess up, it's more expensive in reality than in simulations. These robots do not come cheap. What kinds of things can we build? We can build autonomous vehicles. We'll talk about a couple kinds in this course. We can build rescue technologies. We can build soccer playing robots, which is, of course, a critical goal of AI. And we can automate a bunch of stuff. I mean, in some sense, there's robots all over, right? Your dishwasher is a robot for cleaning dishes. It's just, you know, to a first approximation, you blast water at them and now they're clean. And so we often don't think of that as, as much an AI task, though there are control problems even in a dishwasher. In this class, we're gonna ignore the mechanical and mechatronic aspects of robotics, and we're only gonna think about the planning and the control aspects. Let me show you for today a kind of sense of what kinds of things you can do. So, um, I love this. Is, does anybody know what this is? This is a... Uh, this is RoboCup, this is the Ibo League. They're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit of an Ibo soccer match. So the, the, the first thing to notice is that, um, you know, they're in formation. They're gonna play soccer. It's a team thing. They have to coordinate, right? I mean, it's kind of like watching five-year-olds play soccer, right? Like, the white goalie, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Fortunately, you don't actually need a goalie when you're playing against these guys. Goal, right. Um, so what to learn from here? First of all, multiple agents are harder to control than what? It's actually hard to do much with an IBO, right? But um, multiple agents are harder to control. You've got to coordinate. There's this level of multi-agent control. You also have to get the individual robot to simply walk along and like find where the ball is, do the vision and the calibration. All of that stuff is hard, even when you're not thinking about soccer strategy, right? And so this is an example of that. Something else I'd like to use these IBOs to show is that remember we talked about um, the difference between an AI acting in an optimal way versus in a biomimetic, kind of human-like, or in this case, I guess, dog-like way. It turns out, when you're playing soccer, you know, a dog might move a ball in a certain way. But if you've got an IBO, right, you don't want to move the ball like a dog. You want to move the ball in the best way possible, and you'll never guess, you'll never guess what it is. <laughs> and then you've got to like, turn around and see what the heck happens, so they're all going to go over the ball now. Um, so, Again, the point here is optimal, sometimes you kick it the other way, uh, not biomimetic. We talked about autonomous cars. So here's some footage from a Google autonomous car, and you'll notice it may not be Telegraph Avenue, but uh, these things are kind of around you driving, and the cool thing is you probably don't even know it, right? Sometimes you, uh, you know, look over into the next car and the robot waves back, and uh, but, you know, barring that, you may just not even know, but fully autonomous driving. These are, uh, this is showing some of the sensors that are available. Okay. I don't know, like my palms sweat watching this driving even with a driver there, right? So autonomous driving, better than you might think. We talked about towel folding, so let me show you um, a bit of towel folding from Peter Abiel's lab. This is uh, the PR2 folding towels. It turns out when you're a robot, the hard part about folding is not the folding part, but in the figuring out where the corners are in the first place. So you'll see the robot kind of like, it kind of twirls the towel until it find a, finds a corner, and once it finds a corner, boom, 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 okay? Well, you know, it's sped up 200 times, so not boom, 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 but boom, 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 right? So it folds them, it stacks them, beautiful, right? it is currently not the most cost-efficient way to fold towels. 
Okay, now let me show you the bad boy here. So this is a Boston Dynamics robot. Basically, if Terminators had really, really tiny heads, they look something like this. So let's see what this thing can do. Right, it can pose. Yeah, okay, great. Um, so this robot, it has kind of a big range of motion. It can be stable doing these rotations, which is amazingly hard. People do it. It can walk. If I saw that walking towards me, I might be a little worried. <laughs> it can strike its pose and kneel down and do things. It does push-ups in its <laughs> spare time. Okay, you know when your robot does push-ups for fun, you've got a certain kind of robot. Okay, so um, really amazing stuff. So it may not be obvious from, from watching this, but it is amazingly hard just to get a robot to walk. That's why many robots like have wheels, like an easier platform of some kind. To be able to walk like this, um, this is amazing stuff they have. 